Aries is the 110 meter hurdles world record holder with a time of 12.80 seconds. The 32 year old trains in Phoenix, Arizona under the tutelage of Andreas Bem. Originally from Marietta, just outside Atlanta, Aries enjoyed a highly successful college career and won the world junior title in 2004. But it wasn't until 2012 that he set the world alight. He ran under 13 seconds eight times that year. Everyone thinks it was kind of just a one season deal, but it really took us four years to get to that point. So each year, if you look at the US championships, he moved up in place and continued dropping his time. So that's kind of the progression uh, that we like to talk about when it comes to 2012. I mean, obviously 2012 was a magical season. He ran really well indoors, you know, won the world indoor title, which really set him up confidence wise for uh, the outdoor race. A key factor in the success that Aries enjoyed in 2012 was reducing his number of strides to the first hurdle from eight to seven steps. The season culminated with Olympic gold and a new world record set at a Diamond League event in Belgium. The feeling of breaking a world record and the feeling of winning Olympic gold, like there were, there were two different feelings. Like winning Olympic gold felt like, oh, it's over, I did it. There's no more stress, everything's done, you've completed your life goal. And then breaking the world record was like, oh my God, I accomplished something so amazing. Like, oh my, it was just the, the reactions that I had were just completely different. Following a fairy tale year, 2013 was more of a struggle for Aries, with multiple hamstring tears and only a sixth place finish at the World Championships in Moscow. Something was not right. Post season, Aries moved to live in Arizona, but he was feeling unwell. When my body started to change, that's when I decided to go to the doctor. I'm like, okay, this is not normal because I had massive amounts of edema in my legs. And um, like you could touch my leg and it looked like a marshmallow. It was just like really puffy all, all over my legs. So I went in, I was like, something's not right. My legs are, are bad. I'm not holding any food down. And then they, they immediately knew it had to do with the kidney because of the edema. And so they ran, a, they did an emergency biopsy and my kidneys were glowing. They were so messed up. I was like, what does that mean? She was like, I've never seen this. This is really bad. I'm like, what, what do you mean they're glowing? What is that supposed to mean? And they were like, well, you know what? You'll probably never run again. You know, it's really bad. And I'm just like, oh my God, how do you go from winning the Olympics one year, breaking the world record to almost dying the next? No words can describe how down I was. I was really down. Aries immediately began various treatments to get his kidney functioning at around 60% so that he was allowed to return to competition. He raced sparingly in 2014, whereas the following year he ran the second fastest time in the world at the Eugene Diamond League event. But straight after the race, he received a phone call from his doctor, telling him to come in as soon as he returned to Phoenix. He told me, at this rate, you know, what you're doing now, you need to stop doing it because you're not gonna be able to sustain this much longer. Your kidneys are gonna be completely done if you don't get a transplant by March of next year, which is the Olympic year. I'm like, oh my God, I knew it was gonna happen. I was like, okay, so what do we need to do? Well, you need to, you know, get ready for a transplant. We can start you right away. I was like, well, there's no way. I have world championships coming up in Beijing. There's no way I'm missing that. He was like, well, you're gonna make, have to make some decisions. And so I called my sister. And so he calls me and he, I was like, what's up? And he was like, I need a kidney. I was like, what you mean you need a kidney? He was like, they said I got like less than 20% function. I was like, well, wait a minute. I thought you was like at 60 something, 66%. He was like, no, he was like, it's bad. He was like, well, are you still interested? I said, Aries, you know, give me the information. Give me the Mayo Clinic. Um, who do I need to ask for? Latoya went through a week of rigorous testing at the clinic and discovered that she was a match as a kidney donor for her brother. Aries had made the US team for the World Championships in Beijing, so they scheduled the transplant operation for four days after the hurdles final. However, that meant his biggest fan, Latoya, would miss attending the championships. I was just like, oh my goodness, I'm not gonna be able to go to China, because I like, I love China, so you know, I done mapped out all the places that I'm gonna go to, all the places I'm gonna go see. His agent on the phone, he's like, you can't go. I was like, why not? It was like, because if you get sick, they was like, we're gonna have to pull. And I was like, well, I'm gonna get sick. I can wear a mask. It was like, no, nope, you can't do that. He was obviously very pensive that week. Um, he was very focused on the competition. I think we'd never articulated it as such, but I think in both of the back of our heads, 
We knew that that race in Beijing potentially could be the last race he ever has. I went out there and I just gave it my all, knowing that this could potentially be my last world championships ever. And so I was like, well, I'm gonna have to pull some magic out here because <laughs> this could be it for me. And I ended up getting a medal. Um, I got a bronze with literally no kidneys. It was just ridiculous. And I was just like, I was able to tell my story on that platform as well. I let the world know that I was gonna have a kidney transplant. I couldn't have been prouder of him for that effort um, to come in third and come away with the medal. I mean, we knew his kidney function had deteriorated below 20% of you know, normal function. So being able to go out onto the track and go out and compete at that level was unbelievable. I wouldn't take it back for the world though because it was a major accomplishment. You know, I felt like it had more weight than my gold medal from London because it was just such a huge accomplishment to go out there with no kidney function and to medal at the world championships. These are the best athletes in the world and you pulled it off sick, like really sick. Aries went from the medal rostrum in Beijing straight onto the operating table in Phoenix. The surgery was a success and almost immediately Aries had recovered enough to walk over to his sister's bedside. Well, for me, my recovery time was harder than his was because I, my, I, my energy level was drained. So it's like I have, I went from having two kidneys to one kidney. So now my one kidney has to work double time. Three days back into training and a hematoma developed on the kidney and further surgery followed for Aries. This setback and lack of winter training saw him miss out on a place on the US Olympic team for Rio by just one spot. 2017 saw Aries return to the stadium where he won Olympic gold, finishing fifth at the World Championships. His sister was watching on from the stands, happy with her choice to have helped her brother. That's one of the questions everybody asks me, like, did you ever say no? I'm like, no, because I only have one brother. I mean, it's just me and him. I'm seven and a half years older than him, and that's my baby brother. That's the, the person who basically ran behind me growing up, you know, and every time he does well, I'm like, good job, my kidney, and, you know. <laughs> he was like, that's my kidney. I was like, no, technically, it's my kidney, <laughs> you know. You're just barring it right now. We're always arguing about something, but you know what, at the end of the day, I love my sister very much. She gave me a second chance at life and a second chance at my career, and so I couldn't be more happy and could be more thrilled to have a sister like that in my life. 2018 has started well for Aries with a fourth place finish at the recent World Indoor Championships in England. He'll hope to reclaim his Olympic title in Tokyo in 2020 before calling time on his career at a home World Championships the following year. You know, sport is, a, is definitely a way to articulate and voice something that you've gone through in life. And I didn't really realize that until I had to go through something in life. You know, it took me having to have a major kidney transplant organ surgery for me to realize, look, this is a platform and you can, you can really tell people that anything is possible. With all the hurdles that Aries Merritt has had to clear in his life, he is hoping that his career will conclude with a golden finish on home soil in 2021.